What could be more relaxing at the end of a long day than sitting down with your family at a local restaurant? Pretty much anything. We've all seen that family at the restaurant, right? I mean, we've seen them. The kids are melting down, everybody's... Sometimes we are that family. But it shouldn't always be that way. We should be able to go to a restaurant with our family. We need to. Sometimes we just gotta take a break from cooking. From time to time, you've got to go to a restaurant. How do you keep from it being a nightmare? Maybe just kind of a bad dream. We wanna make sure that an outing to a restaurant stays in the quality time category and doesn't cross over into the things I'm going to talk about with my therapist someday category. So we got an idea, the restaurant rescue kit. This little baby is gonna help keep your restaurant outings quality time. So let's dig into the goodie bag, see what they got in there. Most important thing, right here, this book. Full of game ideas, activities, fun things, jokes, all kinds of stuff to do with your kids. Lots of good ideas in here about how to deploy the kit. The kit itself, oh, you got a little drawing pad here. If you need to sketch some ideas, you can even do a little tic-tac-toe right there. Don't let your kids beat you at tic-tac-toe or they'll think you're stupid. All right, so one of the things we got is this uh, plastic mat. It's a little game in and of itself. You toss a coin, they have that many bites of food or whatever. You got lots of stickers in here. I, I heart the interns. You know, an inappropriate heart. Just a friendly, we love you guys heart. Those are in there. Uh, dice. And it's, uh, you know, it's great to see these little baggies being used for a legitimate purpose. And my question is, uh, you know, there's lots of games in there um, that you can teach the kids to play. My feeling is, why not craps? Seven! Line away, suckers! Uh, more, there's more dice in here. These are uh, dice that have uh, letters in them, right? Cool. Great, okay, ready, and... I can't spell, I can't spell anything with that. Here's the thing, you may discover that your kids are really stupid when you're doing this. They may not be able to spell their own names. Love the dice. These things, these are pipe cleaners. Um, and when you're in college, uh, you use them to do maintenance. But you can make animals with these, all kinds of things, colorful little animals. And there's great instructions in the book how to make little animals. This is clay, modeling clay. Everybody knows that clay is a bushy substance that you play with. You can use this, if you're gonna use this modeling clay, by the way, here's a little tip. Uh, make sure you use the mat or you use a table topper or something like that because this stuff will stick to the table and you only want to do damage to the restaurant that's, uh, that's minimal. I mean, this, this really could do major damage that they could charge you for. Pad, pen, and this is actually mostly for the, for the, um, for the grown-ups so you can pass notes to your wife that the kids won't be able to see. Honey, I think we need to leave the youngest one here. And of course, a great thing full of beads, and you can use these on the pipe cleaners. There's all kinds of games you can use this for uh, their steak when they're playing craps. Everybody gets a certain number of beads, and uh, you take them from the children. Win, win them. And of course, uh, crayons. Classic, staple, you've gotta have these. And also, um, uh, toothpicks. You can do a great game of pixie sticks, of uh, pickup sticks. Great game of pickup sticks using uh, just the, uh, the toothpicks. Very cool. So you've literally got dozens of different kinds of activities here that you can do with the kids. One mistake you don't wanna make, don't pull all this stuff out at once, right? You're the guy that's in control of the activities going on with the kids. If you pull the kit out and you just give it to the kids, obviously they're just gonna dump all this stuff out. Most of it's gonna end up on the floor and it's gonna be more trouble than it was without the kit. Dole it out one at a time. You might even think about leaving the bag in the car and just pulling out one or two of the activities and taking that with you into the restaurant. Total cost of the kit is about 30 bucks retail, which seems pretty pricey, uh, but if you think about it, there are enough activities in here to probably get you through one meal a month, and how much more often do you want to eat out with your kids than that?
Pick one of these kits up at restaurantrescuekits.com. That's all for us this week on Quality Time. If you've got some ideas about how to spend quality time in a restaurant, please join us on dadlabs.com. Start a discussion, join the conversation. Let's talk about taking those kids out to dinner at dadlabs.com. 